Oh my god. So I'm looking for a couple of blankets. Oh my goodness, I really needed to remember that right now. There are still kind people in the world. <gasps> See you, Mom. So last year? Before the school year? Um. Cory got a new pair of Walmart. So I was really, really stressing about this, and I had picked out a bassinet, and then, like, literally 20 hours later, there were none left. So thankfully I found one. There was three left, so I grabbed one. It's not gonna be here for about five to seven days, but I have been nesting like crazy today, getting some deep cleaning done. And so I'm feeling like I need to continue with that cleaning. I don't even wanna say this is cleaning. I need to, I need to, I need to backtrack. My... I don't mean to say cleaning because there's like some things that I want to move around downstairs so that I can clear off some shelves so that I have some room to put these babies. And it's really conflicting in my heart because especially Sadie Lou and Lydia, they are mine, but I'm really excited to have Cody and Brody and then Spirit Baby when she gets here. They are going to be the dolls. I feel like in this stage of my life, that is what's going to help me to continue to heal. So let me just jump into the reorganizing and all of that stuff instead of just sitting here and talking about it. So I am dealing with a lot of different stupid emotions today. So I'm going to start this to distract myself. So I've got several babies over here currently. This shelf has Aiden's, my boy's doll. And then this shelf has a couple of Rins, my oldest dolls that she left here. Cadence is over here, and then Brinley and Aurora are here. And I need about two more shelves. So since we've moved this um, bookshelf over here, I'm gonna move some of that on top and make it kind of cutesy cutesy. And then that'll open up some more shelves. <laughs> Um, especially like higher shelves so that little kids, if like my nieces or nephews come over, then they can't grab any babies. I mean, it's not been a problem so far, but I definitely would feel better with these babies being as that they are next to the extra specials. Like I want them to be kept safe. And I just really think Dakota, who is our spirit friend in Lydia, I think he would have so much more fun being down here. He can watch my boy play his games all the time because on his tombstone there is a PlayStation remote and like a Rubik's Cube. So I think he would absolutely be more entertained down here versus me always moping in my bedroom and just watching like mature shows. Anyways, so... Where's a good place to place this? Maybe right there. I have this stack of pictures. They're all dusty. I need to wipe them off. Get them put up on the wall. We'll see if I get that far because I am exhausted from all the emotions today. pine cones still smell good. I've been wanting to put them over here and incorporate them into this. I found a picture of my grandma. Now I just need to find a picture of my grandpa. I emptied out two shelves. I figured I'd put the twins both here. I thought that would be pretty neat. And then I think that looks nice. <laughs> Minus the rubber ducky. Um, but I gotta let my kids have their stuff here too. So that is a watercolor painting that my mom painted. Well, it's a copy of her painting. So it's not actually her watercolor painting. It's just a copy, but it's still cool. Um, so I'll bring down babies. I think, can I lift? Oh, 
that one's stuck. I'm like, usually you can move these. It's that one's like on. painted on. Dang it, I was hoping to give these guys a little bit more room, but that's okay. I will bring down babies and then see how they like it here. Oh my God. So I'm looking for a couple of blankets that I wanna like lay on the shelf for them to sit on. And I'm coming down and I'm looking at the blankets from the box that I mentioned in the last vlog. And this blanket, I suddenly remembered where this blanket came from. It was the sweetest thing. We were taking um, tr my oldest trick or treating. She was pretty young still and it was, it was cold. And my neighbor saw that she was cold and she went and grabbed one of her, her children's baby blankets. Her kids were all grown up and she put it over Trinity. <sighs> oh my goodness. I really needed to remember that right now. Remember that there are still kind people in the world. I think this is going to be the perfect blanket that I'm going to have Lydia and Sadie Lou sit on. And I'm going to miss seeing them there. But the honest truth is I haven't really held them for a while now. I'm just going to change Sadie Lou into something different though, so that they can kind of match better. This is definitely the blanket I'm going to put underneath them for sure. Really, really good vibes with this blanket. <laughs> okay, this is not the transition that I was gonna do, but I got her changed and now I'm like, I just want to hold her the rest of the evening. Which I might, but let's see how she looks up on the shelf with her sister. Huge. <laughs> you nutcracker. <laughs> the lighting is really harsh because that's the only lighting is from the laundry closet. But I really love this. Let me be your sunshine. They match. They both got these nightgowns that I love. Uh, so there's the other two twins. And then this is how my kiddo put Sarah and Serenity. I suppose it works for now. But look at that. Isn't that cool? They both have the same pacifier pretty much. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the spotlight. Um, I, I feel like there's a story. I don't know if my grandma gave me this or, or I... I don't think I thrifted. I'm pretty sure a relative gave me this, whoever it was. So that's the blanket I've got for them. Super cush. And I will say this blanket, my grandma did buy it at a family reunion for my oldest. And it's just a square blanket that you throw on the ground for them to play on. So that's what those two were on. So there's the shelf of babies. Plus mine. Lots of, yes, lots of babies <laughs> over here, so. That's great. And you come down here often enough. I'll be able to see them. Just the dynamic in the bedroom is going to be very different. Some change is really hard for me. Other change is very welcoming and desired, but Shine. this change is going to be a little tricky for me to adopt. Adopt. Yeah. Yeah. Tricky, tricky. Okay. Because I'm so short, I decided to swap the twins places. And that way these bigger girls had more headspace up here and this way I do not need the step ladder to reach these girls because I probably will want to hold them those two at this point I haven't heard from Stephanie or Sarah in the longest time so it makes more sense to put them up higher and yeah check Hi. that off the list I guess it's a set moment, buddy. <laughs> oh the sun is setting he wanted me to show you that the sun is setting and he's ready to watch his movie. So I'll let him get to it. So now this is what my corner looks like. When the bassinet comes, I think my cedar chest, I think I could find a spot for it in the front room. And I always need, I always need baskets for something. And there's just like a pillow layered, layered underneath there. Girls' throws were tucked right there. Oh yeah, this is a really nice wrap. I was carrying Cody in it the other day. Have not held either one of these guys today yet, but this corner's gonna be different. 
How does that get delivered and not turn on our blinker? Blink. I am tired this morning. I could not fall asleep last night, so I was just reminiscing and watching some of my old videos. <laughs> My beautiful simmer pot came yesterday and yeah, I don't know how they delivered the package and it did not activate our doorbell. So that was strange, but I'm going to give this a quick hot wash just so it's fresh and I'm still taking a break from coffee. Yeah, you know, my stomach's calming way down. And especially with all of my emotions yesterday, like I have to take a break from social media today. That's definitely a must. My stomach was all over the place is what I'm trying to say. So I'm definitely not gonna do coffee yet again, but I want to do my first simmer pot recipe and we're gonna make it smell like coffee cake. So let me wash this first. I'm so nervous. I'm going to drop this and it's going to shatter. My OCD brain always sees that. It's like, well, I have proof because I'm like always dropping my phone. going to be crazy careful. Okay, so I'm going to use my decaf coffee because I've got quite a bit in here. So normally you can just use the grounds from your coffee, but I'm not brewing coffee, so... This might mean it's gonna be really strong. <laughs> All right, so two to four cinnamon sticks. I'm gonna do two. And then a couple teaspoons of vanilla. Hmm. I'm just gonna do a couple of capfuls and make a mess, because that's what I always do. Maybe I'll do three cinnamon sticks. Then add water to simmer. I feel like I need to stir this just a little bit. I'm gonna stir it clockwise for good intention, for positivity. Okay, yeah. I think that's much better. This is definitely not going to be a pretty simmer pot. <laughs> like, no, it's not. Like, I've been looking at like all the Christmas and holiday ones with oranges and cranberries and like pine needles. And I'm like, that's a beautiful pot. This, <laughs> that's, that's not beautiful, but it's gonna smell amazing. By the way, it's officially August 1st. I'm not excited. Like, even though we're coming into spooky season, I am not ready for the kids to go back to school. <laughs> and they are not ready to go back to school either. So now that we've hit August, we're just weeks away. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here chilling this morning. I had some more chai tea. And I've been snacking on these delicious <laughs> walnuts. They really taste like banana bread. And this is the second time I've put Cody in here. And I swear I did it so much better the first time. But it's game night at my parents' house tonight. I'm thinking about going. And I'm like, I think I could fit both the boys in here. And I think that would be really fun. And then my hands can be free to, like, hold my cards or whatever. Like, this wrap... Oh my goodness, it's amazing. And I got it a long time ago because I thought I was pregnant, remember, right? Like this is a whole thing. And this is one of the wraps that I found discounted or something, because no way would I have like, paid full price when, anyway. So yeah, I think we could fit both the boys in here. Be such a vibe. <laughs> I think I need to turn this down, but we've got some aromas going through the house. <laughs> I'm 
first simmer pot. This is so fun. And also I am loving getting back into vlogging again. I'm sitting here editing and it just, it is so fulfilling. That's all I have to say. It's just been so good to be able to save these memories. And then it's always even better when I can go back and look on them later. Such a vibe. I'm all about the vibes these days. All right, that simmer pot is smelling really good. The notes of cinnamon are really coming through right now. I need to come into the garage and find a hammer so that I can start hanging up some pictures. I guess I haven't cleaned them off yet either though. Hmm. Ugh. It's dark in this corner, so I'm gonna need to borrow. <laughs> Even my camera's like, you need some more light for your video. So hang on, I'll be back with hopefully a hammer. So he has this one and it's really heavy and that's gonna kill my elbow because my, my elbow's already been aching. So I'm just gonna take one of these rubber mallets and call it good. I don't know where his other hammers are. So I think I have an idea of how I wanna hang everything up. Kind of a nice day. Gonna be hot, I think though. Ooh, I started to stress sweat. I was working on a little project and at first I wasn't very hopeful that it would turn out, but now, oh my God, this is freaking adorable. I refurbished an old like art frame that I had found from Family Dollar. It said like, in this house, we will serve the Lord. So I completely redid it. <laughs> And it's going to hold the birth certificates of the portrait babies. And this really cute border gemstone um, was from Bestie and it worked perfectly around here. This is such a vibe. Now I'm actually thinking to hang this in the TV room next to the kids portraits, I think. Because, yeah, these are in representation of the kids when they were little. So I think that's what I want to do if I can get it to look good. This is such a process and so much planning goes into like hanging stuff on your wall. So I got to think about this and then I'll show you when I'm done. Because I think that'll be the easiest way for me to do that. I haven't lit incense for a long time since I was probably in middle school or maybe high school. Need to get some vibes going before hubby comes home tomorrow. Okay, got the kids portraits hung up. Haven't had them hung up for like almost four years. That's not the most recent picture I have of them, but they're my favorite ones because they were actually like in a studio because I was doing photography at the time. So, I like have more recent outdoor ones, but those are my favorite ones of them. Okay, I know I had like repeat myself to try and clarify, but anyway. And then this wall. So these are drawings of the kids' baby portraits that my sister just under me did. <laughs> it's cute. I love this wall. I think it turned out really nice, so. Ooh, I don't know about that incense. It might might affect my asthma a little bit. I might need to open a window. Um, oh yeah, I also hung this up because I didn't realize the nails that I bought were like really heavy duty for like up to 50 pounds for the bigger ones. So I'm like, sweet, I'm gonna hang this one up. I don't need hubby to help me with that. Like I thought I was gonna need like the drywall screws and everything, but no. That is up there nice and secure. <laughs> So now we have a little bit of home coming into this house. A little bit of personalization. And this girl, she's been down here with me all morning. Like, I keep going back and forth and she just stays here. She knows where the cool air resides unless she really just likes me that much. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I did it, I dared. I hung this up in here too. I feel like I need something else on either side now, but I think the plan 
is to eventually put this bed up with Zoe so that the bunk beds are together because this is the bunk to her bed and then bring my dresser down and put it here so right now it's like the the room's split in half and so I think that's why I feel like there should be something on either side of this but when my dresser comes down here and we finish all that and then there's only one bed in here then I'll probably be like shoot I should have just centered the picture above this bed but because it's like just centered between the two what have I done if that's the case and I have to move the thing it's not like it's that big of a deal so because yeah moving my dresser and that bed is gonna be a big big feat so for now this is great <laughs> This smells so good. So I want to drink this. And then I was like, shoot, I should have used moon water. I'll try to remember that for next time. So I'm going to pour this in because I know there's grounds in there. This is going to take a minute. Anyway, so that will be a delicious part of this afternoon snack. I don't know. I'm not even hungry. Girls are out playing in the pool. They're very daring. I'm like, you can play out there, but it's getting dirty. So I'm not kidding you. Zoe's out there. And every time, the past like three times, she wears socks in the pool. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, it's pretty funny, not just kind of. adorable there are so many ways that she reminds me of her oldest sister I said that and it felt weird and then I'm like no that's true <laughs> yeah she reminds me so much in so many ways and in other ways she reminds me a lot of me <laughs> oh they're so adorable <laughs> jeez this is when having a french press would have really come in handy <laughs> I feel like this day is taking forever, just like draining the coffee took forever. If I ever do that again, I'm gonna need a French press because it didn't actually work very well to drip it through the coffee maker. I've basically got a concentrate of coffee and I've added some stevia. So I'm gonna try and make a latte with it and we're gonna make it hot. Hot latte. Okay, a mixture of the coffee half and half and almond milk so i'm gonna warm this up i already kind of took a little sip and oh my goodness you can just see the cinnamon in there it's not bad i actually could have added some more coffee i was just afraid of it being like very overpowering and bitter but that's pretty nice Okay, one of my next projects is now going to be how to hang up the twins' birth certificates. Here we have my Cherokee and biracial baby when he's done. And then Ariel and Madison. And then look at this cute gem I found of my kids. I didn't know I had this adorable picture of them together. I love that so much. Okay, I actually was able to fit both the boys in here. He's tucked in here a lot more snugglier, even though he was the last one to go in. Like, I don't understand that. But... <laughs> okay, anyway, I totally have both the babies. Maybe I'll give you a mirror shot, because this is so funny looking. <laughs> there we go. That is what I look like. Some very abnormally shaped giant booby babies. <laughs> Baby boobies. Hanjiada. <laughs> I got my nails. My dad's gonna be super sad. He'll come over Hi, in a little bit. 
He's gonna finish his game and then he'll come over. When he dies. Yeah, or when he dies. Red, black, and white. We did her nails red, black, and white. And she's wearing red, black, and white. What? And we have some red, black, and white. <laughs> Ron Weasley's pet slug. He's really cool looking. Mommy, yeah. Huge, huge slug. Gross. Hey, Grandpa. And my nails. And my hair too. Shh. It's me old. Guess his name. When they're sleeping. That's what I would kiss her when they're sleeping. Mm. It was a comfort. I forgot because you just said it. I don't think you know this one's name. It rhymes with Brody. Well, what do you like now? Cody. 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 If you know your bears, it's a type of bear. So we like the old one better than the new one. President. President. That was me. Um. <laughs> The president is clumsy. She doesn't have to make fun of him, which is not very nice. Zoe doesn't want me to win. I've won every time so far. I need one more card. I thought it was to five. Is it four? Then I won. I won. It's three? No, it's seven. It's seven? They don't know what they're saying. That's my, let's see. What card card is it? I don't know, I'm just kidding. I would get seven points. Oh my god. I just drew, because this is 15, yeah. right? So yeah. line, 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 and then we both had 10 on it. So we tied. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Dang it. That's, that's crazy. crazy. So every time I put these two in this wrap, it's different. And I love how they're in it currently. So I'm like, I just need to go to bed with them on, on my chest here because it's so cozy. <laughs> what happens if you like roll over? I and won't you roll, roll over. over on your stomach. I'm very aware usually when I'm sleeping unless I'm crazy tired or very sick. I'm very aware. Um, but yeah, at one point my mom was like, I know they're fake babies, but I'm like, is that baby crying? Like, is it fussing? And I'm like, well, mine is kind of real, but I'm not going to tell you that. That's personal. I saw a spider. <laughs> you saw a spider? Oh my gosh. Did we step on it? No. Anyway, it's a quarter to ten. This was a really long day, a really good day. You so thought today's energy it, it felt funky when I first woke up. I'm not sure what it was, but... I think I'm exhausted and ready for bed, so good night! Right, uh, right at the same time, I hung my phone down so I didn't really get you. There's a red light on that, is that the infrared? Ooh, I started to stress sweat. I was working on a little project. And at first I wasn't very hopeful that it would turn out, but now, oh my God, this is freaking adorable. I refurbished an old like art frame that I had found from Family Dollar. It said like,